Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your forecast horoscope, your bi-weekly forecast horoscope for February 24th to March 9th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, my beautiful darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries, they're unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel, JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description, a box below. Also, I want to make note of the fact that because a lot of you guys have emailed me and reached out to me in the comments. No, I don't ask for readings in the comments or Instagram or Facebook. If you want to reach out to me to get a reading, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the link in the description box below. And if you are interested in a listing of the cards that I use, uh, there are some in the description box below this video. And if the full list isn't there, you can go to my website and all the cards that I use are on my list on my website. Okay, so, we're first going to talk about your astrology and how it's going to be affecting you in the next two weeks. And then we're also going to jump into your romantic love life and we're going to find out, okay, who's coming toward you? What's in influencing your romantic love life? What's going to happen? So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's drop it. All right. So what's going to have my Pisces romantic love life? for March 24th to March 9th. Show me the cards I need to see. Excuse me, first let's start off the astrology. What's gonna have my Pisces astrology for February 24th to March 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's use three different decks. How, what's gonna happen with my Pisces? Well, how's their astrology gonna affect them for February 24th to March 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And then here, this deck right here. How is Pisces astrology going to be effective for February 24th to March 8th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's take a look. We got Saturn. So Saturn has to do with time. Saturn has to do with structure. Saturn has to do with organization. Saturn has to do with boundaries. Um, delays. Pluto is a high octane of Mars, so you're getting the same kind of Mars energy, but a higher octane, okay, with Pluto energy. So you're looking at pioneering, you know, uh, um, new beginnings, like think about Aries energy, right? Massive changes, like rebirths, like a phoenix rising kind of energy. So we got Venus, which is beauty, attraction, luxury. Oh, that's some good energy there. And then we got the fourth house of house and home and happiness. Okay, I'm, I'm digging that too. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look and see what's going on here. There is the Saturn energy. I actually see the emperor. I know a lot of readers see emperor as the Aries energy, but I feel like the emperor is more of a Saturn energy because think about what the emperor does. He lays down the structure, he gets things organized. There's a sense of, uh, if you even look at the card, the card itself looks very stiff, right? It's a very organized control kind of, uh, and he's a leader, right? But he's in control of everything. All right, so we got the Two of Pentacles energy, we got the Two of Wands energy, and we have the King of Swords. You could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy coming up. Uh, I get the sense also this is something to do with work or finance or even maybe you guys are trying to get more organized, more structured here. You got some massive changes coming in and you're wanting to enjoy yourself a little bit more, right? You have some things you really value and you really is going to make you happy and so you're kind of trying to get yourself into a balanced place. That's what I, I get the sense of. I get the sense with Saturn, you're like, all right, I need to put some boundaries in place here and I need some big changes to happen. I, you know, I need a new beginning for myself because, um, you know, I have some things I'm, you know, I want to, you know, possibly buy. You know, I want to enjoy some things here. There's some kind of luxury, some kind of uh, item that you really love, that you really, um, you know, find very attractive. Okay, that's also Venus energy, beauty and attraction. And we see the fourth house could talk about buying a house. Okay, it could talk about, you know, real estate, buying a house. It can be a very nurturing energy. It could be about the sense of happiness, your comforts, you know, clothes, wealth, you know you know, all those, the, a big car. Okay. So that's all that energy right there. 
So yeah, we got this massive change coming in. The timing is right, you feel. You're like in a sense of despair here and you're like, all right, I'm ready for this fresh start, this new opportunity here with the child card energy. All right, and you know, I need to speak my truth. I need to make this decision and I need to get more balance. I also feel like some of you guys with a juggling card, you may juggle two different things at once, okay, to try to, um, some of you guys may take on two different jobs, maybe a part-time job there to kind of uh, bring some things into balance so you can make some choices here. Because you're look, looking ahead to the future and you're like, you know, I'd like to take a nice vacation somewhere. Or, you know, I'd like to buy this nice big car or this house. So I need to look ahead to the future here and kind of make choices and decisions that can bring myself more in, in line with that, right? And King of Swords is like, I need to be more intelligent about what I say, what I do, how I handle this situation, you know? And, uh, you know, uh, it's like, I, I'm tired of what's going on. You see this despair kind of energy. The timing is right now. It's time for these changes. It's time for this, you know, time to get more organized. It's time to get more structured in this situation. I got this, um, you know, this ability to kind of make this heavy decision, money, family, children, long-term, and I'm gonna make this choice and I'm gonna speak my truth about it, I'm gonna live in my truth about that, and I'm gonna use my intelligence to do that. Because I'm ready to focus on some of the things that really bring enjoyment to my life and a sense of happiness here. Okay, so it looks like you're just like, you're getting in the right mindset, right? And you want some more enjoyment here. Uh, some of you guys may want to buy a house also with that fourth card energy. So you're getting in that mode of like, all right, I need to get things in, in line, get things in order. And the emperor could also talk about maybe you want to be your own boss too, okay? Because emperor is a leader. The emperor is saying, okay, you know what? I need to take a leadership role. I need to have a sense of independence, which is why a lot of people see the emperor as an Aries energy. Well, although we've seen Pluto, which is a higher octane of Mars anyway. So you're really pioneering. You're like, all right, I'm gonna have a sense of independence, but I'm gonna get more organized. I'm gonna get more structured about this. So you're gonna be more organized coming up in the next few weeks, and you're gonna make choices that you feel are intelligent, and you feel, um, you know, align yourself and, and things that will allow you at a later date to enjoy your happiness and, and to purchase some things that you feel are a sense of luxury, of value, or beauty to you. Okay, so let's now move into your romantic love life. All right, what's gonna have my Pisces romantic love life for February 24th to March 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see here, Pisces. All right, so this concerns about somebody not telling you the truth, hiding some thoughts from you. Let's see what that's about. So you get the sense that someone is, is feeling you emotionally here with the Page of Cups energy. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, but you feel like they're not being completely real with you. Okay. It looks like they are taking romantic gestures, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy with the Knight of Cups energy. So there is some sense of concern that someone is not telling you the truth, not telling you everything, like they're hiding something, they're not telling you all their thoughts, and they're kind of smiling in your face, and you're like, okay, but I don't wanna blindly give my heart here with the Page of Cups energy. That's what I get the sense of with this card, is like, am I being oblivious to what's going on with this person? That's what I feel like in this card. But it's like this person's taking these romantic gestures, Knight of Cups energy. Oh, there's the Emperor card coming out. I need to gain some kind of control here. Okay, we got 10 of cups, good cards though. I'm gonna clarify what that seven of swords is about. Okay, oh, another card there. Two of pentacles again, okay. All right, influence is, is there an equal give and take here in this situation? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I feel like somebody's like, all right, or I feel like you're maybe, you may be like, why is this person giving all their time to this person if they say they want to be with me? Okay, or some of you guys have a choice to make. And we see the person who's coming towards you is the strength card energy, could be a Leo, because some readers do see Leo energy as a strength. Um, or this person is really just coming off really confident. So the person that's coming towards you, right, romantically, is the person who's coming off very confident. Your advice is saying page of pentacles, which is saying, there's some good news here, you know? 
there's something potential about the future here with the Page of Pentacles energy. Uh, could be a younger Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, doesn't have to be. The Page of Cups could be a younger water sign, doesn't have to be, okay? Um, but we see, is someone lying to me about this good news and love? There's actions towards love with the Page of uh, Knight of Cups energy, but there's this power move that's being made here, and I'm feeling like this is really making me happy with the Ten of Cups energy. It's like, can I trust it? Can I trust it? Hmm. Let's get more information here. All right, let's get more clarity. I'm going to use Lynn Norman for this. I just want to see what that Seven of Swords is about there. All right, what's going to have my Pisces Romantic Love Life? February 24th to March 9th. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see what that's about. You're at a crossroads, okay? So you gotta make a choice this uh, next couple weeks. You're seeing some hopeful signs here with the star card energy about a new person, all right? Child card energy. And we see um, going further, what's that emperor card about? There's a lot of emotions here, fish card energy, and an opportunity that really makes you happy, 10 of cups energy. We see four wands, a solid foundation, a marriage, someone close to home, four wands energy, although, the Four of Wands is then next to the world. So it's like maybe there's, and then we got the Six of Swords could talk about moving locations here, moving from that home, which could cause some arguments or fights here, hurt or pain with the whip card energy. So it's like, okay, I see. So how do I tell this person? I wanna make a power move. And it, it, there could be some debate going on about maybe changing locations. Okay, um, let's get more information here. All right. Let's have my Pisces Romantic Love Life, February 24th to March 9th. Show me the cards I need to see. What do you want to say, Spirit? Single and available to pursue, trying to gain knowledge. I'm trying to be patient here to see how things play out. Okay. What's going to have my Pisces Romantic Love Life, February 24th to March 9th? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, so you're deeply thinking about this situation. Does it make me happy? I need to gain some kind of knowledge. Is it safe for me to love? The timing is right. I know it feels like there's something aligning for me, but am I going to make the wisest decision here? Royal Car could be talking about a sense of, by the end of the tweaks, a sense of accomplishment, something completed, um, something coming full circle for you, okay? In love, oh wow, in love. Coming full circle in love, but still a little bit confused. Six of Swords could be because of someone far away or some travel involved or overcoming obstacles in making a choice because it seems like there's some juggling of scheduling or juggling because there needs to be a choice made between two different people. Okay, so yeah, well, store card definitely does for a lot of you say change of location because we got the store card energy. This says positive changes, right? If we're just talking about just, you know, not changing locations, this talks about you're seeing signs of positive uh, change. But for some of you, there, there's maybe a want to change locations. Okay, so, and it's like, how can I be honest with them? Or is there deceptions? Or can I, uh, how do I tell them this? I'm confused about what to do, and there's some juggling back and forth about scheduling here with the Two of Pentacles energy, okay? Again, the ship card is reconfirming for some of you guys, far away energy, missing, longing, travel, and change towards some kind of happiness here. So it's like, if it's not you that's it's not sure how to tell this person about I want you to change locations is the other person this other person wants you to change locations and move closer to them it could be vice versa you got to take it how it resonates but it's like you're a little bit confused because you're just like I don't know if they're hiding something from me not telling me something it's like I'm I, you're deeply thinking about I'm cautious defensive because I'm confused will this make me happy the timing is right but are they lying to me? Are they hiding something from me? Are they keeping something secret? I need to make the best decision. But we see you're happy. You're very happy uh, by the end of the two weeks. It's like happiness around this 
this outcome. But let's just go further. I want to see what's influencing. Shock and surprise, all of a sudden, uh, it's like there's a giving energy or lack of equal give and take, okay, as the influence. Isolation, separation, single and available to pursue. So we see strength, courage, or confidence. We see a reconciliation. Should I take a risk, a gamble coming towards you? We do see new love coming towards you. Okay, so it's new love coming towards you. Should I take a risk or gamble on this new love? Good news about the potential. Be patient here is your advice. And we see towards a commitment. Okay. All right, so a lot of deep, heavy soul. So you're just like really, I don't know if you can trust it. That's basically what I'm feeling here. It's like you got a lot of things aligning for you and a, a sense of happiness here, but you're like, is there something else going on beneath the surface? Like you feel like you're at a crossroads and maybe because some of you guys are far away from this person that it's like you're not trusting it. You're like, they're far away. You know, we need to move closer. Um, you know, there's a lot of, it could be some arguments or fights about this moving closer energy. And it's like, is it time yet? You know, basically. So it's like, there's an indecisions about emotions or money and finance because of love. There's a hopeful energy in this opportunity, a change in location. And we see a fresh start, new opportunity, some repeating patterns, some arguments or fights about travel. So be careful about that or hurt or pain about that. Longing, missing, also could be longing or missing too going on there. Okay, so going down a layer. Can I be honest with them about making a power move to travel? There's this good news in love and I, I want to be completely happy and I want to overcome these obstacles. I want to take romantic gestures towards them, towards this house, this home this marriage possibly at the Four of Wands energy, a solid foundation, but I gotta do some juggling here with the Two of Pentacles energy. I gotta do some juggling. So it seems like it's a lot of debate about this new love connection and juggling about moving closer, okay? So it's either they want to move closer to you, you wanna move closer to them, and it's like, what's going on here? Like, there's a, a sense that because of the fact that because someone is far away from someone else, or there's some issues around travel, Someone's like, all right, am I, it's not an equal give and take and I'm shocked and surprised about this isolation. You know, um, there's this new love coming towards you, but we see advice is saying there's good news here. There's good potential. I want to just go down the layer on this guys. King of pentacles, wise decision when it comes to long term. a huge offer being presented, ending for a new beginning, all of a sudden, okay. We see a shock and surprise and arguments and fights about happiness. And worries and concerns. Now, what's with that two of pentacles energy? For a hopeful energy, the choice can be made, okay? So, yeah, so someone really wants to fight for the connection. They don't want it to end. They're offering something of value here. You're shocked and surprised about the sudden aspect of this person, right? And uh, they're really worried and concerned about making you happy with the sun card energy. So let's get you guys some more information here. Because it seems like the influence is shock, surprise, all of a sudden, something's happening here. Can I have a little bit more clarity for Pisces? It comes to romantic love life for February 24th to March 9th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see here, Pisces. Okay, so something is going to be happening that's part of your destiny in your romantic love life. There is a proposal being presented. As I said, that there's something to do with a tangible offer with Ace of Pentacles energy. And it looks like it's something about changing locations or moving in or moving closer. It seems very hopeful. We did see the star card energy makes sense. We see this new beginning. Yes, a new person here. And we see money and finance. So we did see there could be an argue and fight about money and finance or juggling that because of needing to give some kind of money or uh, to heal the situation. Lack of trust here, and somebody wants to find the courage, strength, or confidence because of the sense of naivete. So there's concerns about some kind of naivete. We see there's this forgiveness energy because of delays and challenges, and we do see there's some spiritual signs. There's effort being put into money and finance towards family and long term, and we see something to do with a friendship or wanting to be more than just a friend because of this attraction towards good times. Okay. Let me get some advice for you guys. 
Can I have some advice for my Pisces when it comes to the romantic love life? February 24th to March 9th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so your advice is you have an ultimate potential here. I choose to live a life of my fullest potential and I trust that this is all being drawn towards me. Okay. The timing is right. Everything is aligning in your favor. We see uh, connections. You have a lot of choices. Get centered and trust in the universe. Don't judge this joy that you're having. There is love here. Give yourself some time to think about it. And there's a lot to be grateful for. So it's coming up a lot to be grateful for. Fight for, communicate, Okay, communicate instead of fighting and enjoy the show. Okay, enjoy the show. Be authentically you. Know that massive change is coming. Stay grounded. Okay. So enjoy the show, okay? Don't judge your happy and energy. Yeah, that's that's that is the problem. It's like when you you go through so much in your life and you're just like when something does happen, you're just like and it's a happy moment for you and I get you're in that place of like, can I really trust this? Like, I, what shoe is gonna drop next, you know? We got that kind of mentality sometimes when it comes to life, but remember, life is a roller coaster, but it's about enjoying the ride too. So when we have those times when it's exciting and we just, we just gotta go with it, Pisces, we gotta trust it and see where it takes us, right? So this is what you guys gotta do. You gotta trust this and see where it takes you. However, I'm only here as guidance, okay? So you have free will, so I'm gonna say that. Follow your heart and listen to your intuition. Also, when it comes to following your heart and listening to your intuition, sometimes your heart will say, oh my God, I'm in love with that person, but your intuition will say, I'm seeing some bad signs here. I'm seeing some bad signs here. So make sure the heart and the intuition are aligned, okay? So as long as they're aligned, you're good. <laughs> That's the green light. Um, all right, my beautiful darlings, I do read my comments. I love hearing from you guys in the comments below. As you know, I do respond to you guys and I do read my comments and I love hearing from you guys. So if you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation, I would love to hear from you. If you want to claim this reading, if this reading resonates with you, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.